Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to quickly show you how to create an image hover effect where the image in the background gets blurred and you've got a button such as learn more that gets displayed. So this right here is relatively straightforward to do using a bit of HTML and CSS and it's perfect for any websites that do some sort of advertising uh, where of course you want your user to do something after they have hovered over a particular piece of content or graphic. So heading inside this tab right here, let's begin from scratch to create what I just showed you. So going inside VS Code here, I've got this index HTML with currently nothing inside of it. And I've also got this JPEG image, which I'm going to be using as the example, right? So let's begin inside the body of the HTML by creating an image container. So everything is going to be contained within this image container. That includes the image itself as well as the button that appears once you hover over the image. Okay, so going inside the image container, let's now create um, a second div called image-overlay. So the way it's going to work is you've got the base image and then you've got an overlay which is transparent and it's the same width and height of the image. It's as if you're covering up the image with something else. And this, uh, and this right here is key to getting the blur to work and I'm going to be showing you how that works using CSS very shortly. But for now, inside the image overlay, let's make a new anchor tag with an href of hash. Of course, update this, uh, you know, this uh, URL to your liking. I'm also going to give this a class here of image dash button and inside here just say something like learn more. Okay, if I was to save this, go back in the browser, refresh, we get something like this. Okay, going back inside the HTML, let's finish off uh, this section by creating a new image tag with a source of colorful.jpg. Of course, here you'd put your own image source and an else of just simply image. I'm also going to give this a class of image just like that. So this right here is all the HTML we need to get this uh, hover effect to work. And in the browser, it looks currently something like this. So essentially this top section, if I was to inspect the element here, we can see the overlay currently just sits above the image, as you can see in that uh, light blue uh, background there. We need to, of course, make the overlay actually be on top of the image. So this is all done using CSS. So heading back inside the HTML, let's target inside the style tag here. Let's target the image container. So for the container itself, let's give this a position of relative. This then allows us to position the overlay absolutely in the top left corner, taking up the full width and height of the image. Let's also give this a width of fit content. This means that, of course, the container itself is going to wrap around the image inside of it, okay? And also an overflow of hidden to ensure any blur effects we might include do not uh, begin to overlap the bounds of the container. If you don't have overflow hidden, the blur is going to be visible across the edges of the image, okay? Let's also now hop down here and target the image itself, giving it a display of block. This is to ensure that we don't get that small little uh, gap underneath the image due to the default inline um, display of images. So I'll stop right here, save this, go back in the browser, refresh. We can see here now upon hovering over the image container, we have um, the width of it is you know, exactly what the width of the image is. We can see there by the orange, that's the margin, but the blue is now only up to the edge of the image as opposed to the full page like we saw earlier, okay? Heading back inside the CSS here, let's now target the image overlay. So for this one, we need to position it absolutely in the top left corner saying top zero left zero, also a width of 100% and a height of 100%, okay? As well as a background of red. Now, I wanna show you now using this background what the overlay looks like. Go back in the browser, refresh, and the overlay looks like that. We've got this massive overlay taking up the full width and height of the image container, okay? 
So let's get rid of this red. That was only there for visual purposes, right? And instead make this a display of flex, a align items of center, and a justify content of center. So these three properties are going to allow us to position the learn more in the middle of the overlay. Save this back in the browser, watch this learn more, refresh, bang, it's in the middle right there. Okay, perfect. So now we need to simply upgrade this anchor tag to look like a button. Let's make a new uh, class in CSS here for image dash button. And for this one, let's give it a background color of triple zero for a black, an outline of none, a border of one pixel solid and then triple F just like that. A font color of also triple F or white. Okay. I'm gonna add some font families here of quicksand, then fall back to sans serif. And all of this stuff here is completely up to you guys. You don't need to follow the same styles here. A font size of 24 pixels and a font weight of bold. I'll stop right here, save, go back in the browser, refresh, and it's looking a lot more like a button but there is more things to do, such as optionally, you may also choose to text transform into uppercase to change your lowercase text into uppercase and a text decoration of none is going to remove the default underline. I'm also gonna add some letter spacing here of 0.25 EM, in other words, 0.25 times the current font size. Let's also add some padding of 0.5 EM for top and bottom and 1 EM for left and right. And lastly, we're gonna be adding a transition, but I'll get to that very shortly. I just wanna go back in the browser, refresh to check the progress and we get something like this. So now I want the button to change background color when I hover over it. So going back in the CSS here, let's target the image button, then say colon hover. And now within this, uh, this rule set, I can define those styles for the hover effect. I can say cursor equal to pointer and a background color of triple two for a very dark gray. Save this back in the browser, refresh, and we get a nice change of background color when hovering over the button. Now, one last touch to this button is gonna be to apply a transition on the background color to say, after 0.25 seconds, we're going to uh, you know, change the background color, which means it'll be a nice smooth fade from black to the dark gray, just like that. So we are done with the main styling of this effect, but now we need to, of course, implement the blur in the background. So how is this done? Well, let's go back inside the CSS here, go back to the overlay and target the image overlay for hover. When hovering over the image overlay, we need to add a backdrop filter. So this here allows us to specify a couple of things. We're gonna say blur here in this case and then say 20 pixels. So a backdrop filter of blur 20 pixels is going to blur the backdrop of the overlay. As we know, the overlay takes up the entire width and height of the image, which means if we were to add an effect on the backdrop of this thing, it's gonna be the image itself which gets affected. So if I refresh here, hover over, bang, we get a blur. So now the last step is gonna to be to make it so the button doesn't display by default and also the blur is going to fade in as opposed to not fading in. So going back inside the CSS here, let's by default say the image overlay has an opacity of zero. This is going to hide the image overlay. Go back in the browser, refresh, and we get this right here, no button. However, we do wanna say, when you hover over the overlay, let's make the opacity one. Save this back in the browser, refresh, and now this works again, but there is still no nice transition or fade for the blur. So to achieve that, let's go back inside here and add a transition for the opacity property at 0.25 seconds, save this back in the browser, refresh, and we are done. So that right there is how to create an image, uh, you know, hover effects with a button and a blurred background. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.